any of the spark plugs or secondary wiring that come off the uh, distributor, they come into contact with any of the wires that go to the computer, the electronic control module or the ignition control module will usually cause some type of false code or some type of ghost misfire, but uh, mostly code 42, that's the big one. That's the one that gets a lot of trouble coming off these, the wiring come out of that ignition control module. If you look at section 6D23 uh, under r secondary wiring, routing the spark plug wires, you'll notice it refers to routing the wires correctly. Failure to rotate the wires properly can lead to radio ignition noise, which is really what, what they're talking about really is electromagnetic noise. This is an editing, a seven pin ignition control module out of a, my 1984 Corvette. Uh, if you look at this, this is the positive, this is 12 volt battery voltage. Uh, C, C terminal on the other side is the coil. Then you have the other, then you have the other end. You have the, the uh, P and the N terminals. That's the positive and negative terminal that goes to the pickup coil assembly. It has its own connector there. Those wires are inside the distributor. Then you have the other side. You have the E terminal. That's the ECM reference voltage that runs the timing. Uh, you have the R terminal there, that's the uh, 5 volt reference signal. And then you have the B terminal, which is the bypass terminal, which is circuit 4. 424 that also feeds uh, terminal uh, terminal 11, which is the the terminal that you unplug to set the base, the base timing. Terminal, terminal 11 which is by the brake booster timing connector which is a tan and black wire or tan wire with black trim on it that's the one you disconnect to set the base timing but this is this is here's the brake booster this is terminal 11 right here it's just a single pin terminal and it has a it's a tan wire with a black tracer on it when any spark plug wires that come into contact with that or any of the wires that and the wiring that comes off of the distributor will cause uh, radio interference or electromagnetic interference.